Hey guys, see Phil. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick update on the props work I've been doing. So, um, one of the tasks I've been working on was adding this props um, tab on the right. So the whole idea is that um, you're going to have probably a lot of props going forward. Um, I'll make a lot, community will make a lot, so you'll have quite a lot. Um, and you'll need a way, an easy way to kind of select those and search through them. So at the moment we have this type up here. And you can sort them, uh, kind of organize the building structures and structables. Gives you a little description to help you find your way. Um, the categories are also generated based off the folder structure that these props are placed in. So for instance, for this one, there's a buildings forward slash um, buildings or forward slash machines, um, and then when the the um, the building is in that, then that will create a category. You have also got a search you'll be able to use, um, and it's a quite a flexible search. So you could say if you want this medium military building, you type in medium, and enter, and it will um, just yeah filter it. But if you um, said you had something that you uh, you wanted to use two terms to find it, like a kind of fuzzy search, um, it's not you can do that basically. So I could do medium space building. So I don't have um, a building that matches that exact um, kind of format, the key. But because I've got medium military building, it'll be able to be found. So if I press enter, then you can find it that way too. Like for instance, the machine condition. I don't even need to finish the word. And it's, it's I think the full name is machine air conditioner. So, so that's quite, that's very powerful actually. Um, it's what people expect when they use tools like this. Um, you also have the little preview of the um, the prop that you you're using. You'll, it's not done yet, but you'll click it and then you'll move your mouse over. And as you move, you'll have this preview of the the model, and then you click to place it then. And then once it's in, it will look like you know any one of these custom ones here. All the the white ones are custom, so they're they're props basically. So then you'll be able to yeah move it around and do what you want with it. So. Cool, just wanted to show you that props uh, area off. I mean, let's just make it really nice and easy to manage lots of props that will um, appear going forward. So thanks a lot, guys.